on July 31st. It's going to be our first pay-per-view event. John Roca, Ethan Irwin, the number one contender match to find out who faces Dan Merle for that championship. The undercard final exam versus Deep 13. Don't ever doubt the outlaw. I'm coming back even stronger than ever. So Ethan Irwin, big time. I love you to pieces. I respect your work. But there's no mystery to solve here, Sherlock. We're going to go toe-to-toe if we go to toe, and I'll beat you. And I've never been ready to fight against Ethan 100%, and I know I'll be ready on that day. So win or lose, I'll have nothing to hang my head about. I'll be ready to fight him when the time comes. Make sure you can get it at the schmodownlive.com or join patreon.com slash schmodown. Join today at the $10 tier so you can get that match. Welcome back, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans. It is the finals for the Inner Geekdom Tournament. How could you not be excited? I'm excited. The hype for this match already has been crazy, just the journey to get here. I'm Christian Harloff, joined as always by Mark Ellis. Mark, uh, if you would have asked a lot of people about who would be in the finals, I think a good portion of them would have said Mike Kalinowski. I don't know how many of them would have said, you know, he's probably going to be facing his team partner, Chance Ellis, and it's going to be an all-corruption finals. It's an all-corruption finals. And Christian, if you're wondering why I got so dolled up for the match, it's not because of the attitude of the competitors going in here. They seem like they're relaxed. They seem as easy and as free and as loose as I've ever seen either Kalinowski or Ellison going into any match. And that includes exhibitions, but it is a championship match. It's five rounds. And Christian, I have a feeling that once we start asking the first question in round number one, all of that nice, easy vibe is going to go away and we're going to see these hardcore competitors at their best. Well, make no mistake about it. It's definitely going to be a competitive match. There's, you look at what both these guys have done. And just to correct you, my good friend, it's not a championship match. It is the finals of the tournament. It's that will the be- championship of the playoffs. Sure. Leading Thank into you. who will get a shot at either Kevin Smets or Chandru. That match, look at that, coming up really soon here. Pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen. Get your tickets now at theschmodownlive.com or $10 patrons. You're going to get it anyway. So get that while you can. But look at that undercard also. This is amazing stuff. But Mike Kalinowski looking to get back to either Smets or Chandru. I bet you if he had his preference, he'd want to have some revenge against Smets. I don't know. But uh, Chance Ellison, who is now 3-1 and one inside of the Inner Geekdom division, playing against his mentor in Mike Kalinowski. And it is all corruption because look at that. Look at those standings right now. When this all started and when the Star Wars tournament started, people were saying, oh, look at the cor- look at corruption. They're in the dumps. Nice, nice moves, Shannon. Well, Shannon's got the last laugh because they're only a few points out of first place. They were in after Star Wars. They were still down because Swag had taken the uh, the lead over second place. Corruption came raising, blazing back here, and they're going to get an extra three or four points today because one of these guys is going to win. Mark, pretty nuts. Yeah, and so if there's anybody that should have that cruise ship vibe mentality, it would be Shannon Barney, just because she knows she's getting three points for a faction either way. Now, she may have to live with the guy who loses, but I don't think she's concerned about that right now, Christian. I think that this is the exact way, if she could have orchestrated how the season unfolds, Hopefully she wouldn't have put a pandemic on all of us, but what she would have done is said, no, y'all count me out. You have your other factions that you're rooting for. Let them be in the lead, but I'm going to be here when all the dust settles. I think she's done it her way and it's paid off. Uh, I think you're right. And I think that she is, she definitely, like I said, she had the last laugh and you look at even what Laura Kelly did in those star Wars finals corruption has been fighting back and they are very, very close for taking over. And then you talk about chance and Mike with a shot to overthrow the uh, founding fathers and get their titles back. That's another, that would be possibly for both first place and the titles. But yeah, anyway. Christian, I got to correct you. It was actually the semifinal. Oh, star thank Wars. You. I appreciate that. Ah! I like what you did there. Um, so, I said almost got to the finals, but whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see. This is a big buildup how we got here. It was massive. Chance Ellison taking out the unbeatable Robert Parker. Never going to happen. Well, he did it. He's going to go up against the Finstock Exchange. Well, he did it. Mike Kalinowski, maybe he doesn't have it in him anymore. Well, he uh, he did it, and he, did, and he just knocked out the Star Wars champion in the last round there, too. KO. So let's find out exactly how we got here. Here we go. 
In the team tournament, the Ultimate Schmodown Team Tournament 2018, the theme is anarchy. Chance Ellison. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is Chance Ellison? Oh, oh, we'll get to him. We'll get to him. We have a path in front of us. Two future champions together. This is our first time working together here. We find our strengths, we find our weaknesses. We're gonna keep on winning. That's what we're gonna do. Now it's an all corruption final as we uh, we see Chance versus Mike. Corruption's ready for a nice little vacation and we friggin' earned it. You made it to the finals, man. We're all impressed by what you've been able to do. How do you feel now that you're there? And how am I feeling? I am ecstatic. Hey! What? What are you doing? Jesus Christ, I'm taking what does it look like I'm doing? I'm taking a nap! He made me the IG player you see before you today, so nothing but respect on my end. It's really. Massive versus apprentice. What, you want me to sit there and talk trash about Chance? One of the best players of the game? The best partner a guy can ask for? To honor all you fallen players, we promise to make this match great. We would promise from right here. You're welcome. A toast to those who wish us well, and all the rest, go to hell. It's not a matter of, oh, this is just going to see where the chips fall. We're going at it, man. I'm giving myself 110%. Chance will. We're going to go at each other's throats. Mike and I are going to give each other all we can handle because that's what good partners do. I mean, did you expect anything less from Nerd Chronic, Mark? This was absolutely an amazing, amazing promo leading up to how we got here between these two teammates. They're they're excited. They're not talking smack against each other. Last time we saw two champions like this go up against each other in a team was JTE versus Snyder back in the singles tournament, I believe, in uh, 2018. Yeah, with these guys, there's not a friendship on the line here. There's going to be a rivalry maybe that gets born out of this, and we have no idea what's going to happen in seasons down the road. But these guys, I'm willing to bet, Christian, that they studied for this match together. It's just a matter of who got the top bunk when they went to bed at night. But I think that this is going to be a close friendship, and we're going to see competition at the end of the day. They're going to shake hands, exchange jerseys, and probably all have whatever sort of margarita situation is at Casa de Kalinowski and chance well you know and people have been asking because this is not with these digital matches come new rules um when it came to live events and studio matches hard for a manager being two places at the same time talking to their uh, opponents uh, excuse me their competitors at the same time well with digital and the way it works with the 60 seconds managers can manage both players if they wind up in an opportunity like this so shannon will be managing both competitors here um and because in these matches you can hear what the manager's saying anyway to the uh opponents we said let's have her in so ladies and gentlemen she is the manager of the second place team the second place faction in all of schmodown corruption there she is oh well that doesn't surprise anybody you look very relaxed there shannon uh this is this is you laid back not a not a care in the world huh no, we're drinking painkillers today, by the way. That's what's on oh. the menu. I wanted a corruption vacation. I wanted this finals more than any of you guys could have imagined. And I got to say, I don't think that I have seen anything this beautiful since I looked in the mirror this morning. Look at you. Uh, well, I mean, I, it's it's hard to say anything except I understand because of what you've been doing. People have been talking about you in last place and you you drafted wrong and you didn't do it right and and you said okay nerds let's uh let's see what happens and 
did you know this was going to happen? Be honest. Did you know that this is exactly, was this the game plan from the start? Absolutely. I knew this was going to happen. I have confidence in my players. Now, here's the thing. I can imagine that most of you losers out there are really, really mad watching this right now because it's not what you wanted. It's not what you wanted to see in your finals. But you know what? You know what I wanted? I wanted Laura in the Star Wars final, and that didn't happen for me. So you guys are gonna get what you get, and you're not gonna throw a fit. Uh, Christian, I don't know about you, I'm just in awe of that drinking apparatus that Shannon is utilizing so splendidly. Shannon, my question is simple. Uh, you're managing both competitors. One of them's gonna win, one of them's gonna lose eventually. Is this the easiest match you've ever had to manage, or is this the hardest match you've ever had to coach? This has been a blessing. Mike and Chance are ideal partners. They're ideal members of corruption. They hold, <clears throat> excuse me, they hold our team's name. They are both dedicated. They are both working so hard. Uh, they love each other. They have so much respect for each other. We're all on the same page. And I will say, just to uh, just to appease everyone's peace of mind here, um, we are on vacation. We earn this, and we're going to have so much fun with it today. But please don't mistake that for us not taking today seriously. I have coached Chance independently. I have coached Mike independently. Um, I have not shared any of their details or strategies with the other competitor. I want to uphold the integrity of the game. So you guys are in for a hell of a match today. It's gonna be fun whether we're on vacation or not. All right, well, there you go. She is the manager of the the winning faction of the tournament. We can say that. Her faction won the tournament. We, we know that that is absolutely a fact. Um, the question is, which member of that faction will be facing the champion uh, at Spectacular? All right, Shannon, well, congratulations and good luck to you. Thank you very right. much. See you. Oops, sorry about that. Moving Shannon to the waiting room there. Well, you don't want to cut the queen off. You're going to wind up. Uh... No, I, I wouldn't want any part of that. Not even when she's on vacation. No. All right, Mark. So Shannon is now waiting. Are you ready? What do you say, Muppet? One more time. Uh... I am, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Introducing first. Don't say I don't warn you. Representing corruption with a record of three wins, one defeat in the inner geekdom division. He is the former movie trivia schmodown team's champion of the world, the Cobra, Chance Ellison. Oh, everybody from Corruption is just relaxing, huh? Chance Ellison. You're just taking it in stride, huh? Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Yes, I am. How are you feeling right now, man? You're in the finals and you're playing up against your mentor here in Mike. Is, 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 it, is the relaxation a good or a bad thing? bit of both you know mike and i we both worked hard we both worked hard to get to these finals we both wanted it and now we're here so you know this was the hard part we we're already happy that our faction is getting a shot at that ig belt whenever that happens but now it's a matter of who gets it is it gonna be me or is it gonna be mike and it's this isn't i mean like shannon said this isn't a you know relax take it easy we're not gonna take this seriously kind of match i'm gonna give mike all he can handle mike's gonna give me all he can handle and we're gonna put on a great show yeah, right. Chance, you're uh, you're dressed like a funeral in a party city, got into a street <laughs> brawl, and that's what we ended up with. So let me ask you this as simply as I can put it. Has there been any even good-natured jocularity trash talk between you and Mike during your world-famous study sessions going into this match? A little bit, a little bit. You know, we, we like to have fun. We like to kid around, but our eyes are on the prize all the time. Well, that's another question I had there too, because you know, I mean, look, you've been playing with Mike since you started here. That you, he was, he was, he's the only partner that you know. He's the only faction that you know since he was the first person he brought you into the, to the league itself. So you know how much he wants this thing. And not only should you win, would you be taking away that opportunity for him to get a third title, but you'd also be taking away that that one win. He's one victory away. If he wins today, he will be the only inner geekdom competitor in the history of the division to win. 10 matches in inner geekdom does that play in your head at all you're like oh, look this is you're, you're standing in front of the cobra you can get bit uh i mean a little bit just because i know how much inner geekdom means to mike but 
I mean, if I fall on the sword from him, I'm, I'm not doing him any favors. I mean, Smets isn't going to cut him a break. Chandra's not going to cut him a break. So I shouldn't either. So uh, Mike knows he he has to earn this. He knew he was going to have to earn this regardless of who he was facing. It just so happens to be me. So here we are. All right. Well, we are going to put you in the waiting room there as we introduce your partner. Good luck to you, Chance. Thank you. And his opponent representing corruption with a record of nine wins four defeats and three knockouts he is the former team's champion and the former two-time movie trivia schmodown inner geekdom captain of the world mike the killer, Kalinowski. To no one's surprise, you're also ah. off the beverage. Uh, Boys, you, how are we? You're loving this, aren't you? You just love it. I'm, I'm having the time of my life right now here, my friends. The time of my life. Okay. Uh, well, let me ask you. You're yeah, here. No, go ahead. No, thank you. You're playing Chance Ellison. Your yes. your partner. You brought him into this league. That I did. And you see what he's doing. You think now. I know you. Have you taught him everything or everything that you've wanted him to know until it was time for him to know some other stuff that he might not know? You know what, my friend? You're, you're a father. Mark, you're a dog dad. You know, there's nothing prouder than when your, your, your children come into their own. And that's how I feel right now. Because people like Roxy wanted to even talk crap last week. She was just like, you, you can't, you're not going to be happy for him. You know, of course I'm happy for him. What I'm happy for is the fact that this kid you know, I see, I see so much of myself in this young kid. I see so much of myself. I see a man that came into a, a five-way inner geekdom, did well, but didn't get that brass ring at the end. He lost, you know, and I know what that's like. I know what it's like for him to climb his way back, to face someone that no one, no one thought he could beat. What did he do, boys? What did he do? He won. I know what it's like. Uh, I know he's hungry. Uh, I, 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 can't, I can't be in a, and I'm in a phenomenal position. I'm, I'm on the top of the world right now, boys. Top of the world. Yeah, Mike, and it seems like you have a pleasant evening plan. I'll remind you that Shuffleboard is on the main deck at 8 p.m. But Is that on my, the Lido deck? My, my question to you today. Yeah. Yes. For, for this match. Yes. You and Chance, y'all have famous study sessions together. Was yeah. there any sort of prep for the new speed round between the two competitors? You know, it's uh, it's kind of hard to prep for a speed round like that. Before we used to do for our team's matches, we would get the buzzers beforehand and we would practice. This is a matter. It's a different ball game. I'm kind of on the uh, uh, seeing the Star Wars match. I actually really like this 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 format. You know, I like the ability to pass, come back, uh, and also it's it's ten for ten. You know, each player we we got the equal amount. It's not a matter of oh my buzzer didn't click in, it didn't work right, or you know that whole thing. If that happens, so it's even equal footing for this. So I'm I'm excited to try it out. Well, Mike, I mean, yes. I, I had asked uh, the same thing to Chance here. You are a point away, excuse me, a win away from right. being the only Inner Geekdom competitor to have 10 victories inside of this division. Yeah. You chose to step back um, from playing Chandru. It was the right decision. You're obviously in the finals. Yeah, absolutely. It- of course it's the right decision. We were at the bo- You said it earlier in the, in the pre-show. We were at the bottom. We were dead last. Where are we now? We're, we're neck and neck, neck and neck with number one. Neck and neck. And regardless of who wins this one, we're getting points regardless. It was an incredibly smart decision on my part. Incredibly smart decision for Shannon, my manager, to back me on this. It's a no-brainer. All right. Well, Mike. You know. Yeah, yeah go ahead. I, I don't mean to say this because you said, you know, I didn't know that about 10 wins because I don't play that. I don't do the numbers thing, the numbers game. My numbers have come up each match. If we look at my accuracy, I'm sure Frank, you'll throw that down. My accuracy is ridiculous. But uh, if I could for a moment, boys, if I could just say one thing. Uh, I'm going to say this right now because Chance and I have proven this. We've talked about the greatest teams of all time. Chance and I, Chance Elson and I, are without a doubt the greatest team that has ever been put together. And let me tell you why. Because what does a great partner do? They make their other partner better. The Patriots, we talked about their great record when they played. Did any of them ever win a singles title out when they were playing together? I don't think so. You know, the Shire Wolves, I'll give them that. They were phenomenal. They were a great example for a great team. But that's why Chance and I are the best team, because we brought each other up. Look how much better I have gotten with Chance as my partner. And look how much better Chance has gotten with me as my, his partner. That's why we're the best team this league has ever seen, ever seen. All right. Well, with that, we're going to put the former two-time IG champ looking for his third shot here today uh, in the waiting room uh, as we bring back 
chance. And there is Mike together. Finals of the IG tournament, Mark. How does round number one? How does that go? Round number one in this championship finals of the playoff format works as thus. It's a lot like a championship match. Round number one, it's going to feel like any match in Inner Geekdom. You get 10 questions from 10 different corners of Schmodown at Know How. Each question's worth a point. No penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round number one. We'll ask a question. You have 15 seconds to answer it. How do you answer? You take a utensil. You take a whiteboard. You have to write your answer. When we ask you to show it, please show it to your camera at the same time you verbal your answer into the microphone. Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the five round match. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself a little more time, use a JTE rule. And each competitor, Christian, has one challenge to be used. I'm sure Shannon Barney is really enjoying the fact that she has two challenges in this odd match. All right, Mark has read the rules of round number one. So now we start with Mike Kalinowski. Are you ready? Of course I'm ready. Let's have some fun here. Chance, are you ready? Mike, let's give him a show. Let's go. Let's get you it. You got it, buddy. Then let's get ready to schmodown. All right. Round number one. Question number one falls in the realm of the MCU. In Avengers Age of Ultron, what is the name of the mobile service module designed by Tony and Bruce to respond to a Hulk rampage? Uh, Christian, bold statement by Mike about the best team of all time. Does nobody remember the run that you and I went on back in the 70s? We were the first. We were the first. Five, four. And the best. Three, two, one. And we start with Mike. Veronica. It is. Chance. Veronica. One, one. Question number two, Marcus Ellis. It's in the world of Star Wars, or should I say Galaxy. Your question, gentlemen, is from Episode 7, The Force Awakens. In that film, who says to Kylo Ren, I won't have you question my methods? It's a good query there. Writers are feeling it, just like the competitors. No bird cause this time around, though. <clears throat> Five, four, three, two... One pens down and chance. You know what, Mark Bird? Call all you want. General Hux. Ooh. Yes. And all right, but Snoke. Oh, chance takes the first. Uh, takes the first lead here over Mike. Good guess. Good one, guess. Good guess. One point. One point. All right. Next question. Question three. Middle Earth. In the Return of the King, at the end of the film, Frodo, Gandalf, and Bilbo, among others, board a ship headed to what destination? I think I liked it better when I was known for dragon calls. The, the yeah, yeah, for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I can just laugh at these. I'm like some competitors with five all in their head. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with Mike. Oh, I'm guessing this one. Is it the Undying Lands? Yes. And Chance? The Undying Lands. You got it. All right. So we see ourselves right now with a score of three to two. Chance Ellison with a one-point lead over his partner, Mike Kalinowski. That's right, Chance. Still eligible for that perfect round should we make it that far into this round number one. Your next category, gentlemen, is in the world of DC movies. Just like that picture. Your question, who directed the 2011 DC film Green Lantern? Which I enjoyed. I liked the trailer. Hi, I'm the guy. I'm the guy. It was that color. You the one. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, and chance. Cannot believe this. Martin Campbell. That is right. Martin Campbell. And Kalinowski also gets it. And it is now 4 3 as we get to our next question here. Next question. Question five. 20 seconds to answer this question, gentlemen. In X Men Apocalypse, name two of the mutants that Apocalypse takes under his wing in the film's present day as his four horsemen. Ooh, that's a spicy one. I was liking Apocalypse for a while too, and then. <laughs> yeah, I liked, the, I liked I liked that movie more. That was my, uh, for, well, you, you like Green Lantern. I, I didn't mind that one as much. I think it became a Leno. Like, hey. yeah, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, pens down, and Mike Kalinowski. 
Uh, Storm, Angel, Psylocke, and Magneto. Yes, and Chance? Okay, I, did, I misspelled Psylocke, but Psylocke and Storm. <laughs> oh, that's good. We'll give you that, that's fine. That's good. I'll, I'll give it to you, Chance. I'll give it to you, buddy. Psylocke, that's fine. I don't, I, I don't know why. I just I'm not Chandru here, I won't challenge that. I'm not Chandru. No, it's about as JT as it gets, but we're gonna give it to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, let's get to the, uh, <laughs> that was Geppetto. All right, let's that, get That was, yeah, Kylucky. Yeah, but that, I, well, we uh, we got it. All right, next uh, next question here, Mark is uh, number six. That's right, number six. This is in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, where I believe they do penalize for spelling at Hogwarts. Luckily, we're not there. Your question: In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, what is the name given to someone that can communicate with snakes? The name of someone. Hmm. Yeah, Christian, I think. Uh, I think that's Psylocke spelling past Geppetto and took the Tyrannosaurus exit. Okay, okay, don't, don't, go, don't go that far. Four, don't go that far. Don't, don't do that. Two, one. Pen down, please. Chance. Yeah. Parcel tongue. Uh, that is not correct, uh, Mike. Oh, damn it! Yeah, hey, you're right. I didn't get to change it, but I put parcel tongue as well. It's parcel mouth. Parcel mouth. It's parcel yeah. mouth it is parcel yeah, mouth. Yeah, damn, damn it. So, ah, uh, so you're right. Yep. They both missed. They both missed. Five, four. Mike doesn't get a chance to tie it up, but Chance doesn't get the perfect round. So it's a one-point game here. Next question. Next question. Star Trek. Star Trek is the next question. Who composed the score for Star Trek 2009? And Christian, I have a live look in at the writer's room right now, and they are celebrating like madmen that we get to save one question. Oh, they like that, but they also like that they tricked the competitors. Five, four. Three, two, one. Pens down, Mike. Michael Giacchino. Yes, and Chance. Michael Giacchino. Yes. Okay. So we have now, it is still, it is 6-5. Six, 6-5. Five, six, five. As we get to our next question here, Mark, this is uh, question number eight. That's right. And it is in the category of DCEU. And that question, at the end of Birds of Prey, there is an audio-only message from Harley Quinn where she is about to reveal a huge secret about whom? I've been sending more of those recently. Christian, you ever do that? You just you hit the audio thing and then you just... I've done that quite a few times. And well, no, you're talking to Siri. Five. I'll talk to whoever I want to. Four. Three. Two. One. Heads down, please. <laughs> and uh, Chance. Batman? Yes. And Mike? Well, I've put Batman because she's revealing he's Bruce Wayne. Yes. <laughs> Batman, Bruce Wayne. That is, that is correct. Do you want to challenge that? Do I want to challenge it? No, I, I'm good. I, I didn't know if Mike was challenging it. All right. Okay. Man, I'm going to challenge my own question? No, I didn't know if you were challenging because I, never mind. All right. No, no, no. I was just because she was, Batman is, and they were going to say Bruce Wayne. If I didn't know if you, yeah, no, no, no. what she was going to challenge. So Here's the next question. This is question nine. Heroes and villains, Samuel L. Jackson goes by the name of Mr. Glass in 2000's Unbreakable. What is his real name first and last? Not too long. Study, study session question, boys. Study session you question. Better, uh, you better not miss this. I know. Well, all right, well. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Mike. Elijah Price. That is correct. And Chance? You're welcome, by the way. Elijah Price. <laughs> there you go. So, 8-7. So, final question in round number one. Uh, mixed bag, Mark. Yeah, that's right, Christian. These guys are operating on another level of nerddom. We might have to start calling this division outer geekdom. Yep. Your last question, gentlemen. This is in the world of mixed bag. So, here we go. In the film 300, Rise of an Empire... What was the name of the God King Xerxes' father? How about that one? Give them one that they think is easy. The oh, writers yeah. come right back. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with uh, Chance. Good to know when they had a perfect round anyway. Zeus? No. And Mike? Hadrian? No sir. For also the name of the lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish, Darius. Oh, Darius. So, oh, that's that's my dad's name. Jesus, is it really? That's so embarrassed. <laughs> that's my dad's name. Whoops. <laughs> Wait, your dad's name is 
dare it? We missed the opportunity to make your nickname Xerxes this whole time. <laughs> Amazing. All right, so look at this. At the end of round number one, nobody's for but it's still a one-point game. They both missed two of the same questions, but Mike has missed three in that one, so we see ourselves with an 8-7 score. As we get into round number uh, two, Mark, how's that go? That's right, Christian. These guys can barely get anything right, it seems, so let's see if it picks up in round number two. With the wheel round, the wheel of destiny, justice, and your fate. You're going to spin that wheel. You're going to get a category. Once you settle on a category, you're going to hear five questions from said genre of inner geekdom know-how. Each question's worth two points. No penalty for missing a question. However, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer we promise uh christian they both have all of their challenges mm -hmm. so i think shannon barney's feeling pretty good about everything all right shannon you have 60 seconds to talk to chance starting now hey buddy do you remember when everyone said that you would never beat parker and see yourself in the finals <laughs> oh yeah those, <laughs> those were simpler times everyone was so naive Sorry, I just I just needed to remind everyone that you're in the finals because you're friggin' awesome. Um, how are you feeling? That was a great round, man. Yeah, I feel good. You know, Harry Potter miss was a blow on my part, but forget it. It's, it's fast. Doesn't, doesn't matter. It's still a close game. You're up by we're good to go. Um, you're spinning first on this round, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's going well for me. Let's go first. That's what I thought. All right. All right, yeah. let's bring up the wheel. Here is the wheel, and here's this first spin. We had known it was going to be a vacation vibe. We could have, like, dressed the wheel up with, like, pineapple slices. I would have got a pina colada. Get caught in the rain. Star Trek. So 60 seconds to talk it out. Here you go. Mm. Yeah, I think uh, this is one I know Mike's been waiting for. So I know you're feeling about it, too. What do you want to do? You want yeah, to let's, let's spin again. You, spin again. You can do Let's go. All right, here's the spin. Second one, final one. As Chance spins. Ooh. We need more oh. clapping when the wheel is spun. I like that. Yeah. Come on, Will. I believe in you. Okay. All right. DC. Good. All right, Wheel. DC it is going to drop out Shannon. Here. Take your time. Listen to the questions. You have all your rules left, so just take your time. Multiple choices available. Don't be afraid to use it. You got this. Let's go. All right. Bring in uh, Mike. All right, Mike. Uh, yes. Chance to get five questions here in the realm of DC. Oh, DC. Okay. Chance, are you ready? I am. Here you go. First question. In Batman Forever, Bruce Wayne has two motorcycles of the same kind that impress Dick Grayson. By what name do they go by? <sighs> Crap. Mumble Jess. Is it A, Vincent Black Knight, B, Trump Bonville, C, Kawasaka Ninja, or D, Harley Davidson EL? A. A, Vincent Black Knight is correct. One point for Chance Ellis. Nice pull, nice pull. All right, question two. In V for Vendetta, V refers to his home by what name? Mm. Just watch this too. Oh. Multiple choice. Is it A, Shadow Suite, B, Monte Manor, C, Shadow Gallery, D, Cristo Manor? Shadow Gallery. Shadow Gallery for one point is correct. <laughs> Question three. In Superman 2, what does General Zod mistakenly call Earth when he first arrives on the planet? Planet Houston. For two points, Chance Ellison. Question four. In the Lego Batman movie, it opens with a quote from what musician that Batman takes credit for? Michael Jackson. For two more points. <clears throat> and finally, who directed 1984's Supergirl. Okay. Um, something along these lines, like Jano Schwark. Yeah, we'll give it to you. Uh, Jano, yeah, that's, Jano, it. that's fine. Jano Schwark is correct. Two points for Chance Ellison. So Chance now sees himself with 16 points over Mike Kalinowski, who has now has the chance. We're going to move uh, Chance from the stream. Bring back Shannon. Shannon, you got 60 seconds here to talk to Mike starting now. How you feeling, babe? I'm feeling good. Yeah, those first two, yep. uh, the, the Star Wars and the Potter, I was between the two. I didn't want to use a JT to erase my board. I'm feeling yeah. great, you know? Good. Yeah, I'm feeling great. So let's do it. Good. Yeah, shake off round one. No worries. You're still in this yep. game. Let's spin let's it, see it. what we get. All right, here comes the wheel. And here's the first spin. 
Christian, I love this right now because if Kalinowski does get a perfect round two, he'll have a one-point lead going into the next round. Okay. Depends on what he's going to get here. He's, you know, he's pretty strong in a lot of these categories. Middle Earth. All right, 60 seconds starting yeah. up. <clears throat> well, we can do better. Okay, we're going to go a few of it. We'll go better. Yeah, let's try again. Yeah. Try better. again. All right, let's keep spinning away. Whatever you get here, Mike, you got to take, and here it is. Let's go. Round and round it goes. Chance left Star Trek out there, possibly for Mike. MCU. Okay. Mike sees himself with the MCU. <laughs> we're going to drop out Shannon here. Uh, all right. And we're going to bring back Mike. All right, Mike, you're going to get five questions in the realm of the MCU. All right, all right Mark. All right, Mike. This is the Marvel Cinematic Universe, in case you, you didn't know what those stood for. Your question, number one of five. Which Guardians of the Galaxy character has been charged with illegal manipulation of a Gramosian Duchess? Five, four, three. Star Lord? It maybe was a guess, Christian, but he got two points for it. That's nice right. Kind of, nice All right. guess. All right, so question number one, Mike Mike gets correct as we get to question two, Mark. And that question, in Iron Man, Tony Stark sarcastically guesses what college Christine Everhart went to. She informs him she actually went where? Berkeley. That is incorrect for a two-point steal. Chance, the question. You're on the right. You're on the right. That's up. In Iron Man, Tony Stark sarcastically guesses what college Christine Everhart went to. She informs him she actually went where. You're going to kick yourself, Mike, because he guessed Berkeley, but she went to Brown. Yeah. Mm, that is okay. correct. It's a league school. Big steal there by Chance Ellison as we get to question number three. All right, Mike. To rebound and get two points of your own, in Captain America, the first Avenger, we learn what killed Steve Rogers' father was what? <sighs> Multiple choice. Is it A, polio, B, tuberculosis, C, mustard gas, or D, mugging? Mustard gas. Delicious moutard, but not in gas form. That is a point for you, Mike. That was nice. question, that was question yes. four. All right, Mike, your fourth question. Penultimate one in this round. In the Avengers, what is the model number of the suit that Tony deploys while falling from Stark Tower, which attaches to him mid-fall? That's the... Oh. It's the Mark 7. I'm Mark 2 and we're stopping there, but yes, Mark <laughs> 7 is the correct answer. All right, here's the final question here for Mike in this round to get himself within four of chance. That's right, Mike, for two points. What title does Irani Rail, the leader of the Nova Corps, have in Guardians of the Galaxy? Nova Prime. It is Nova Prime, and Christian, nice. we got the ball game going into round three. All right, so that steal was massive because instead of Mike going up by one, he is now down by four going into round number three, the betting round. All right, uh, Mark, how does round number three go? I don't know if Vegas is open or what they're doing right now, but I know that we can place a wager right here in this round. It's the betting round. What's going to happen is whoever's in the lead, that being Chance, the Cobras, <laughs> these Ellison, is going to get a spin at the wheel. Whatever category we land on, the field of competition is going to hear one question in that said genre. Now, here's where it gets Betty is that each competitor, once they see what category was spun, is going to wager an amount of points. You may wager up to three points. You may wager as little as zero points. One and two points is also allowed. Here's the rub. If you get the question right, you gain that many points. If you miss the question, you lose that many points. All right. So All right. because Chance is in the lead, we are going to bring that wheel up, Chance. And here it is. Here's the spin. Oh, perfect. Choice. Oh. Mike gets Do Mike, I get to pick? You get yeah. to pick whatever you want, yes. Let's go Star Trek. 
Star Trek. I thought right. you were going to go there. Star Trek. Um, all right. Star Trek is the category. Star Trek is the category. All right, gentlemen. So you have entered your points in the private chat. And now the question will be read from the realm of Star Trek. Here you go. What is the name of the Vulcan term for Spock's living spirit, which he transferred to McCoy before dying at the end of Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan? And Christian, we'll point out to the audience that we have two separate streams going, so neither opponent is aware of what their competitor wagered. Right. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We start with Mike. How many points did you bet? I bet three points. Three, and you said. Well, I was going to write the points on my board. I don't know if we needed to do that for you guys. Do you want us to do that too? No. Okay. What? Okay. What was it? I, I I did three points. Okay, three, and you said. I said it's his Katra. And chance, how many points? I had inside a caution, so I went one. And you got. Katra. That is correct. So chance gets one point. Mar uh, Mike gets three points. So we see ourselves now two points. Two points. Hey. Chance Ellison has a two-point lead now, has been cut down from four to two as we get to round number four. This is the speed round. Mark, how's it go? It is the speed round 2.0 version. That's right, because in this speed round, 10 questions are going to be asked to each competitor. The competitors are going to hear the same 10 questions, but at different times. One competitor is going to enter into their window with 60 seconds on the clock. And once that clock starts, they're going to have as many questions answered as humanly possible. Each question is worth one point. If you get it right, you get a point. If you miss a question, you lose a point. There is a third option. If you hear a question, you don't know the answer, or you can't conjure it in that moment, just say pass, and we'll move on to the next question. If there is still time left after Christian has read the initial 10 questions, we'll go back to any questions that were passed, and you'll once again have the option to answer it or say pass again and so on and so forth until the end of the 60 second window now christian uh chance ellison is now winning by two so he's gonna have the option if he wants to be in the window first or if he'd like to defer to his study buddy mike kalinowski once the other competitor is out of the stream they will have no ability to hear or listen or see the questions being asked to their opponent all right, so Shannon, going to give you 60 seconds here to discuss with Chance on what he wants to do starting now. Hey, buddy. Um, I mean, I would say go first. You got a two-point lead. You want to get it over with, uh, see how much you can increase. There's, I mean, there's not much debate to have about it. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah, it sounds good to me. I'm, I'm going to go first. Yeah, all right. All right, good. all right, Shannon, you can stay in the room. Remember, you have to have your hands just like that because if you lower your hands at all, during this, then chance will be deducted one point. All right, so we're going to drop Mike out of the room entirely, waiting for the production team to do that, and then we'll begin the round and drop Shannon out also. All right, Mike has been dropped out. All right, Chance, are you ready? I am. Here we go. What film is the second film released in phase three of the MCU? Thor The Dark World. In the Chamber of Secrets, what is the name of Dumbledore's Phoenix? Fox. At what speed will the DeLorean time travel and back to the future? 88 miles an hour. Who directed Men in Black? Barry Sonnenfeld. In what year was Superman 2 released domestically? 1980. Al Allison Sudai plays which character in the Fantastic Beast films? Queenie. What is the first MCU film to refer to Thanos as the Mad Titan? Bass. Who plays David Dunn in Unbreakable? Bruce Willis. Who plays Black Mask in Birds of Prey? Ewan McGregor. How many times did Hugh Jackman play Wolverine? Uh, pass. What is the first MCU film to refer to Thanos as the Mad Titan? Pass. Okay. How many films did Hugh Jackman play Wolverine? That's it. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Dropping you out there. All right. So Chance Ellison has gone. And now Mike Kalinowski will be brought in. 
All right. So, Mike, you got 60 yes. seconds to talk to Shannon here first. Okay. Starting now. Go ahead, Shannon. All right. Clear your mind. You got yeah. 10 seconds. You got 60 seconds. Yep. You know to pass if you're not sure of it within two seconds. Chance did his thing. It's your turn to do your thing. Anything you got? No, I'm feeling great. Star Trek was a great pull. Great. Yeah. All right. Yep. Feeling great. We're, we're giving a great match. All right. Yeah. Cool. All right. Here we go. So, we're going to drop Shannon out. Mike. Turn you up a little bit here. So, can you hear Mike. You? You're gonna see the clock, Mike, on the top on the top here. Um, okay. Begin once I start asking the question. Understood. Okay. Yeah. So you complete asking it, right? Well, after I complete asking the first question, that is when it will start. Okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here you go. What film is the second film released in Phase Three of the MCU? Doctor Strange. In the Chamber of Secrets, what is the name of Dumbledore's Phoenix? Fox. At what speed will the DeLorean time travel and back to the future? 88 miles an hour. Who directed Men in Black? Uh, Barry Seinfeld. In what year was Superman 2 released domestically? 1980. Alan Sudol plays which character in the Fantastic Beasts films? Queenie Goldstein. What is the first MCU film to refer to Thanos as the Mad Titan? Pass. Who plays David Dunn in Unbreakable? Bruce Willis. Who plays Black Mask in Birds of Prey? Ewan McGregor. How many times did Hugh Jackman play Wolverine on screen? Nine. And going back to what is the first MCU film to refer to Thanos as the Mad Titan? Gardens of the Galaxy. All right, that's it. That's it there. So Mike has finished all of his questions. Um, all right, we're going to tally up and we will bring you back in just a moment there, Mike. All right, we're going to bring both the manager and Mike and Chance Ooh, back. Wow. Uh, Woo! Hold on a second. Boy. Hold on. <laughs> All right, and Chance is back. All right. So, at, it off. And it off. at the end of the Ooh. speed, Chance, you missed two, and you passed on two. You have a total of 23 points after that round. Mike, you missed one, got the rest correct. You're now up 25-23. Mike is up 25-23. Wow. Chance, you missed what film is the second film released in phase three of the MCU that was Doctor Strange? In oh, what, phase three. In what year was Superman 2 released domestically? That's 1981. Superman 2 was released in Australia and Europe in 1980 and June 1981 stateside. Yeah, all right. So I'm also, also sorry for cussing. My bad. That's okay. And that is also that is also the only question that Mike missed was the Superman two released domestically. Was eighty one domestically really? I'm not trust you guys. I'm not answer? challenging it, but I'm like, what's the answer for that Mad Titan question? I'm curious. Gardens of the Galaxy. Mike got it correct. Yeah, um, and it was right. nine. Nine was was Logan. Nine was Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what was the third? I was like, it was oh first class. He's in that one scene. Yeah. All right, so at the Ooh. end of that round now, we see it go back to Mike Kalinowski, 25-23, going into the fifth and final round. Mark, how does it go for the fifth and final round? I got good news and more good news. The good news for the competitors is that they're familiar with round number five. They've done this a bunch. And the better news is that this is going to determine the match, and we will crown the winner of the Inner Geekdom Tournament. Aye. We need a series of numbers from each of you. That's all we really need. Each number's gonna each number's gonna correspond to a different corner of movie, trivia, schmodown, know-how. We need three numbers from each. These numbers can range from one to sixteen. Once we settle on your categories, your first question is gonna be worth two points. Next one is worth three points. And the final one, should we make it that far? And I bet we do, is for five big points. You may not pick the same numbers as your opponent. There's no stealing in round number five, nor is there a penalty for missing. A question. So, Mike, you yeah. were feeling for most of the match, but now you find yourself with a two-point lead. So you get to give us your three lucky numbers first, from one to sixteen. What do you got? I'm feeling a good place. This is where I usually do. I usually play from behind like this, and I go here. Uh, we're gonna go with old reliable, old faithful number two, twelve, and fourteen in that order. Two, twelve, and fourteen for yes, Mike, and for, and for Chance, six, eight, and sixteen. Six, eight, and 16 for chance. Number, chance. All right. So, Shannon, you're going to have uh, 60 seconds to talk to Mike starting now. Shake that off. That was exciting. I know your adrenaline's coming right now. I know exactly. Yes, ma'am. 
Clear your mind. Get it all out of your head. This is the last round. This is where third, you dominate. Third. This final round is my final round. That's my. That's what I do. No matter what happens, Corruption's winning this. Thing. Absolutely. You guys both have winning records in IG. I couldn't be more proud of the work you did. You guys have put up a hell of a match today. Um, you give the fans exactly what they wanted. So relax. Take a breath. Take your time. You got all your JTEs. Use them if you need them. And uh, let's see what happens. Let's bring it on. Proud all of you, right. baby. Great, thank you. All right, Shannon, stick around and do 60 seconds with Chance starting now. Hey, buddy. What a great story for you, too. I could not be more proud of you. I am so excited to have you here. I'm so excited it's a corruption finale. You're only down by two. You know that's not the end of the game. You're studied. You're ready for this. You also have all your JTEs. Listen to the entire question. Take your time. Use them if you need them. Uh, you can still win this thing. And again, there's, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we win. I know you both won it. I know you've been working for it. So go get it, and let's see how this turns out. I can't wait to see what happens with you two. I love you guys so much. All right. So with that, we drop Shannon out there. Chance, Mike, are yeah. you ready? Chance, buddy, let's do this, my friend. Let's right. this. Chance, here you go, bud. So you chose category six. Category six. That is Indiana Jones. In what year? Did Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom come out? 1984. 1984 is correct for two points. Nice All one. Right. So we see, our, we see ourselves tied. And now Mike Kalinowski will get his two-pointer mark, which is uh, category two. Yes, it is, Christian. And that is going to correspond to... Mike, you familiar with DC? A little bit. A little bit. Then your question... For two points to regain a two-point lead in the world of DC is... What is the last name of Robert Wool's character in 1989's Batman? Knox. Who's that loss? Two points for Mike, and he's back on top, Christian. All right, two more points there for Mike. And now Chance gets category number eight. Category number eight for his three-pointer. Mixed bag. Mixed bag. Here you go. Okay. Chance, in X-Men, The Last Stand, what is the name of the laboratory responsibility? What is the name of the laboratory responsible for making the mutant cure? Worthington Labs? That is correct. Three points. Nice pull, Big, buddy. Nice pull. Big pull by Chance as he now sees himself with a lead over Mike. It is now 28-27. Uh, as Mike will now get his three-pointer. Mark, he chose category number 12. Yes, he did. Jim Kelly's number, and Mike, that corresponds to the Wizarding World. And your question. Okay. But once again, get the lead on your own. In Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, what is the title of Gilderoy Lockhart's autobiography? It spent 27 weeks on the number one bestseller list. That would be Magical Me. And that's it done. Yes, it is. And that is correct. And Mike's got the lead once again, Christian. Now it goes to Chance for five big points. All right, so here's where we stand. If Chance Ellison, if Chance Ellison hits this, bounces back to Mike, and Mike will be forced to hit his five-pointer. However, if he misses, then Mike Kalinowski will be challenging either Andrew or Smets for the championship at Spectacular Five. All right, Chance, are you ready? Yes. All right, category 16. Category 16. That would be Marvel Films. Okay. Marvel Films. Here you go. In Venom. What is the full name of the bioengineering corporation that discovers a comet with symbiotic life forms? The Life Foundation. For five more points, nice Chance, ball, buddy. Chance nice Ellison ball. hits it and now forces the hand of Mike Kalinowski. Mike, if he hits the five-pointer, he will win and go on to play for the Intergeekdom Championship. However, if he misses, his partner, Chance Ellison, Will be playing for the Inner Geekdom Championship. Mike chose category number 14. Yes, he did indeed, Christian. And this corresponds to a category that Mike passed on in round number two way back there. Now for all the marbles, Mike. Number 14 corresponds to Middle Earth. 
And your question for the win, to be the champion of this playoff and to defeat your partner in crime and corruption, Chance Ellison. In Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, what is the nearest crossing to the ferry the hobbits took to evade the ring rests? Five, four, three. Repeat the question. First one. Do that. In Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, what is the nearest crossing to the ferry the hobbits took to evade the ring race? Five, four. Repeat the question. Second one. In Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, what is the nearest crossing to the ferry the hobbits took to evade the ring race? Five. Repeat the question. Last one. Mike, in Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring, what is the nearest crossing to the ferry the hobbits took to evade the ring race? I don't think this is it, so I'm gonna take a wild guess because I think it's the only name I know in that area. <sighs> Five. Buckleberry. And your winner, advancing to the Schmodown Spectacular, the Cobra! The answer, Mark, was Brandywine. Brandywine Bridge. Ooh. Brandywine Bridge. Chant yeah. and pulls off the big, huge upset here. Upsetting Mike Kalinowski. 33-30, but what a battle it was. Gentlemen, we're going to keep you in together here. We're going to keep you in together. <laughs> you looked like uh. you were up. You were down. Yes. Uh, and... Man, it was uh, it was crazy there, Shannon. Let's start with you here. This was uh, look, no one this similar to what happened here with with Andres Cabrera, right? Nobody thought the chance was going to be able to beat Parker. He beat Parker. He beat uh, he, he beat the Barbarian, and now he defeats the two time champion in Mike Kalinowski. But what a battle it was! Uh, how are you feeling there, watching your two guys scrap it out? Oh my God, I'm sweating over here, man. That was intense. I I could not have asked for a better match. Could you have asked for a better match? It was Mike. And it was Chance, and it was Chance, and it was Chance, and it was Mike, and it came down to the wire, which is what we were hoping for, which is what we expected, which is what these guys are here to do. I mean, they're champion blood. Like, I would not expect any less out of either of them. I am so, so freaking thrilled for Chance, because guess what? I still don't believe in fairy tales. They're not real, but hard work and dedication and studying and working your butt off is real. And that paid off for him in dividends. I, I couldn't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I am so, I'm so damn proud of you, man. You did it. You did it. You beat, you beat my baby. You beat Mike. I mean, <laughs> holy hell. Dance, how you feeling? I, I honestly, I have no, I have no words to describe, describe what I'm feeling right now. Um, I know how much Mike loves this league. I know this is his, his bread and butter and to come in and, Look, I'll be honest, when I was down to be around, I thought that was it. I thought that Mike was going to at five and I was going to whiff it again. But, you know, you, like you said, Mike may be a better player. He may be a better, you know, geek than player and it shows. And I'm, I'm happy that I get to go and fight for that belt. I get to fight for us and fight for that belt. Yeah, Mike, let me, yeah. let me say, look, I know it's got to be bittersweet here, obviously. You know, you, yeah, of course, of course, you, you fought like really, really well. You hit, I mean, you, you came back in that speed round, you, you got yourself back up to a lead, you hit your two, you hit your three, and it was just yeah. that five that you didn't know. But is it, you know, is it an easier pill to swallow knowing that you've got Chance, who's now has his first, this is his first individual oh. championship ever? Of course, look at me. I'm, I'm smiling right now. It's not, you know, I knew it wasn't. Buckleberry Ferry because it's the ferry, but I was wording, I was wondering on the questioning. It was like my notes that I just write is at the crossing. Uh, it wasn't a poll. Middle Earth is is you know I don't have a weakness in IG. I have the varying degrees of strength, and Middle Earth is on that other end of it. Um, you know, 
I could have pulled Life Foundation if I had pulled the Marvels category. So it's just, it's the way it comes down to, but this is what I love about my play and against Chance. It's like, I always play, I always, you know, from behind like that and I come back, I give the guy the best shot I can give at him. This is my protege right here. And people are say, you know, will you be upset? No, the best thing that would mentors do is when their protege surpasses them and goes on. So I cannot wait. This doesn't stop. You know, I, for me, it's, it's kind of relaxing because I don't have to be watching these movies as much anymore for a little while. I've got a nice break. Uh, but I've got to, I'll be there in his corner, you know, Elijah Price, that round one question. We just asked that a couple weeks ago, you know, that's why we know these things. And that's why he's going to take that belt. We're going to get the belt. And, you know, it's funny. I said at the beginning of this year, chance will have that singles belt by the end of this year. Well, I just got my divisions wrong. So he's going to have an IG belt and that'll be great. Cause then we'll both be well, IG belted and teams belted. Well, so, oh, that's it. Oh, that singles belt too. Don't get it twisted. I know. I know we're going to, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to control you though. I'm going to not, I'm not going like, to get you like I did last year. So, I'm glad that you brought that up, though, because, you know, yeah, the, the singles tournament right around the corner, you've both been announced to be in the tournament. You're both going to be playing the tournament. Mike is going to be yeah. playing uh, Perry Nemiroff as where a chance Ellison will be going up against David Del Rio. We know that is happening. Um, singles, the team's match between the founding fathers, the fourth one is coming in there like that. So, Shannon, I got to ask you, you've been around. Mike, you've seen both Mike, you've seen what happened to Rachel Cushing playing in three divisions. Any worry about a burnout in uh, in Chance Ellison, regardless that he's uh, 13 years old? <laughs> yeah, no. throw it in. Had to get one. <laughs> we will be cautious to avoid uh, those traps. I, obviously, there is a risk of that. Um, but I think that Chance has such a good head on his shoulders. Um, and, you know, the IG tournament, or I'm sorry, not the tournament, the IG finals isn't coming up for a while. He's got what? Until Spectacular? So he's got time to stay studied in a place where it's not taking over his life. And now it's time to jump into singles. And this is a singles is an area and teams is where he thrived in the beginning. That's what he came in here for. He did inner geekdom just to do it. I mean, he knew his stuff and he was like, let me see how far I can get in this. IG was not Chance's bread and butter. Uh, so I'm not worried about him and IG. I think he's going to be great and we can kind of relax on this a little bit. Not too much because we're going to have, you know, Smetzer Chandru. So he's going to have to be on top of his game. Mike will be in there helping him. I'll be in there helping him. He's going to have the best coaches in the league getting him ready for this. I don't anticipate his burnout. Um, I don't know that Chance is capable of burning out. He's got the energy of a thousand suns and I don't. I mean, I, I guess it's life in your 20s, man. It must be nice. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't, uh, we're going to keep him even, we're going to keep him even killed. We're going to keep him ready. Um, but we're not going to overload him too much. He knows so much. He's so good. He's so prepared. He's so ready to jump back into singles. And, uh, I think he's going to make a great run there too. When you got that momentum, you got that fire, uh, you just, you keep it rolling. And that's, that's the goal here. Yeah. I, uh, I used to be in my twenties two decades ago. Um, <laughs> as a fan of sport, and as someone who doesn't wouldn't be accused of recency bias, then I'm not ready to declare this is the best match of the season or of all time. But it was maybe the most unique match I've ever watched in that it started out pregame, a lot of lighthearted tomfoolery, and then y'all were locked in from round one. But then it seemed like there was a shift and both competitors got into another gear that I've rarely seen in the Schmodown. So, Mike, I want to start yeah. with you and Chance. Same question. When did you shift? from this is a good match to I really got to be on my P's and Q's? Uh, the betting round. That for me, it felt like it was a flashback to my time um, with Rachel Cushing, uh, very similar to that match where I was coming from behind. First round were dumb mistakes. I was second guessing myself and I didn't want to use JT rules then. Um, but once Trek hit, it, it's kind of like with, with, with Chance, you know, that was his weak point and that's why I went with it and just like, Mills is my weak point. It got me in the end. That's what is a great game, but that locked it in. And then the speed round, you know, it, it's different than when you're at that desk. I can't see what's going on. I have no idea what he was dealing with. I had no idea his thing. I just knew what I was, but that speed round focused on me. That thing locks me in. And then coming into it, you know, third, fifth round, what we were at and knowing we had both answer all of our questions at that. It's like, it, you know, people talk and I, you know, I hear things of, you know, and the things like, well, if Mike and Chance ever plays each other, will they take it seriously? And like Shannon said earlier, 100% you see at that end that we both wanted to win this. The, the friendship was put aside and we went to play for that match because it's the, the game, we respect the game and the game deserves that respect and that reverence. And that's what we delivered. You know, it comes down to it. I wanted to win. You're damn right I did. I didn't whiff that. I didn't know the question. I tried my best, you know, and, and it just didn't happen for me on this one. Uh, and I was not going to hand chance this win. I was not going to give it easy because, you know, what Smets Chandru, they're not going to hand him a win. Chance? 
Uh, for me, it was when I found out after Speedrun I was down. It was, look, my big problem, and Shannon gets me on this all the time, is that I, sometimes my brain moves a little too fast and I just mishear things. I That, that phase three question was a stupid miss. I should have had that. Um, and then going around three, that's when you need to lock in because I knew this would be the first time I got pushed to a five. It hasn't happened for me in this tournament yet, and you might be willing to do it. And yeah, that was when I locked it in. And one more thing I want to say is that I whiffed that uh, Darius answer earlier. So uh, 16 was my dad's number in college and professional ball. So uh, I like to think he helped me get the win. So thanks, Dad. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you know, last question I got for you, Mike, before I let you guys go. And uh, yeah. uh, this is, uh, you know, obviously a loss is a loss and yeah. you feel it. But the thing is, is there a part of you too? Because you you had, you feel like you were redeemed where you had, you know, you had that loss from Smets and Spectacular. Right talked about openly and then you came back and you played just kind of lights out for the first round or excuse me the first second and third round and then had this match do you feel yeah. like you're back on your game and you're glad that you took a, a break is this the end of the ig or is this just uh, you're coming back oh absolutely not i thank you for asking that uh, you know what it, it, there was a lot of soul searching over this past uh six months before the ig tournament and i said at the beginning of that first match against alba i found my love of of ig again with my faction, you know, and I played my three matches. I've gotten better and better. This one was a little ups and downs, you know, um, but I could afford to play like that in this match because it was chance. I knew the knowledge of the player I was playing. Sometimes, you know, in uh, whoever you play, sometimes like I can't give this up. I I can't go multiple choice or I could go multiple choice. Chance, I had a little more wiggle room to play with around in this because I knew this level of competitor I had. I knew where it was going to go. I found my love of the game again, though. I found this great study thing, you know, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I, I, I was worried. I was like, let's see what this tournament does. If Alba had knocked me out early on, that might have been it. But I kept getting better and better. I found the love. The, the new competitors are bringing out a great passion and fire me. They're phenomenal. I can, I've can. proven it. I've proven I can hang with the best. I've proven I'm one of the best in this league at IG. You know, I, I ran this tournament on my side of the bracket. I went down to my five with chance. Took him to the end. Came back from, from what was I, four points behind. Come back like I always do. Uh, I'm here to stay. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I still want another rematch against Smet, so that's I get, maybe that's my goal to work towards is, is trying to get that guy again at the table because we're one. Well, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, if Chance Ellison beats Smets, I'll give you a number one contender shot against Smets to see who played. Ooh, ooh, ooh that's that, sweet that, it is. So there now you that's, now that's, that's a double chance to get this guy to win then. But that's that's if that's if Chandru doesn't ruin all those. I don't points. know. I gotta say something though. I I, I don't know. I kind of like the fact that uh, Smets has that one little loss in the uh, loss column, and it's. Yours truly. Hey, I do like that. You like, but you know what's better? You know what's better? What's Two that? Losses in the last That's column. true. Every every one loss, every one little thorn and every one side comes at the hands of corruption. So it's a good day for corruption. I couldn't be more excited. I'm and, sure. Uh, right. And second and, place is now solely yours. You ah, tra- you just ah. you trail uh, Finstock Exchange. Very little there. The standings right now. Look at how the corruption is right there nipping at the heels and they have a big chance no pun intended to take over the lead should corruption take over the founding fathers when they play so boy once again guys really great match incredible match you did exactly what chance and uh had said in the beginning here and that's give them a show you did that and then some thank you to all three uh chance congratulations shannon and mike kalinowski hell of a match everybody Way to go. Mark, you know, the funny thing is, too, when you look at what Chance did, Chance um, also, he beat the two guys that everyone thought would be in the finals. He beat Parker and he beat Kalinowski, um, which is a, this is a, this is a big, big win for him in Geekdom because nobody thought he was going to, nobody thought he would be there. People thought maybe he could beat Oyama, maybe, uh, but even most people had Oyama winning that match. Then nobody thought he was going to beat Parker. Parker, he beats Parker. Barbarian, there was people after that they started giving him a little more props but Kalinowski you know Kalinowski Kalinowski is a legend in the in the division and and he showed why in this match too yeah and, and here's what we've seen from corruption Christian is that as long as we've known that faction when they come to make a statement they don't do so with a soft speaking voice they do so with a big stick and so chance coming into this and not just winning the tournament but the way he did it the people that he knocked out along the way i don't think anybody's ever going to doubt that kid out again you said he might only be 13 years of age but he is going to present a formidable challenge to whoever he faces once he gets to the schmodown spectacular and 
already with we know two big matches happening at Schmodown Spectacular 5 and boy are they big matches the Star Wars movie trivia Schmodown championship on the line when Alex the Demon Damon tries to get his fourth title defense going up against the tournament winner Andres Ace Cabrera and now either Kevin Smets who is the reigning champion going up against Chandru very soon here whoever wins that match will be defending their title against the Cobra Chance Ellison at the Schmodown Spectacular. Now, Chance, Chance could have, who knows? If there, there is a world where Chance Ellison could be defending the, uh, going for the IG belt, defending the team's belt, and going for the singles belt. He could be Chance three belts. There's a chance. There is a opportunity. However, hard to say when you have 36 hungry competitors in this overall tournament and that goes down four matches per week for the first two rounds so subscribe to the channel now if you're not already that's right no rest for the wicked and that means christian and i i guess molly can chill for a while but this tournament that we're looking at is going to be fantastic what we just had was amazing and we could not have done it without our amazing production crew everybody working so hard for us behind the scenes and i'll even give a shout out to my partner in crime half of the greatest team in Schmodown history, Christian Harloff, because not once has he fell to the prisoner and, and gone into his fridge and grabbed one of those Stellas. You remain sober, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate that, and I thank you for joining us. And what an Inner Geekdom tournament was. Two great tournaments already, the Inner Geekdom tournament and the Star Wars tournament. They're in the books, and we have our winners. Andres Ace Cabrera wins the Star Wars tournament and the Cobra. Chance Ellison, representing Corruption, is the winner of the tournament, now stands at four wins and one lonely defeat. So that is it. He's going to be placing the champion. You guys, now it's time for you to, to move your attention towards the pay-per-view matches. You have the big number one contender match between the outlaw, John Roca, and big time Ethan Irwin. Get those tickets now, the schmodownlive.com. You can get them if you're a $10 patron. You're going to get it anyway. It's going to be sent right to your inbox. Join up today. So many great things. That Smets and Chandru match. That's right around the corner. That's next week. So we're going to find out who Chance is playing. But you guys, if you want to see it, $10 patrons and over can get it. Or you just get a ticket over at the schmodownlive.com. For Mark Ellis, I am Christian Harloff. See you next time.